Hi, my name is Mary Dykstra. This is Module 5, Understanding Whitensville Christian School. The mission of Whitensville is to nurture the academic, spiritual, personal, social, creative, and physical development of our students in cooperation with their parents for Christ-like service in God's world. Standard number one. Whitensville is a part of Northbridge. We have selectmen that run our town. We have general town traditions like fireworks, a turkey trot, Christmas tree sale by the Boy Scouts, wooed by the food, food truck event. Uh, the White and Community Center is a uh, membership gym. They have um, basketball courts, roller rink, indoor swimming pool, lots of town teams play there. We have a Memorial Day parade and free concerts. We're a mill town, and the mills are being um, renovated and used for new businesses. These are just a couple pictures of the mill. Beautiful mills. Um, Whitensville, however, is not a town school. We are a private school, so we have families from over 30 different communities in three states, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. We also have over 75 different churches represented an international population from um, different countries. So our customs and traditions are unique to Whitensville Christian. Um, the town of Whitensville was, was founded by the Whiten family, and they are responsible for many of the beautiful buildings and homes in Whitensville. This is the Victorian. It's owned by a friend of mine, and she lives there. Our school has many common ideas and attitudes. We're a faith-based school. At least one parent has to be Christian. We are funded by um, private tuition. Parents have high expectations for the education of their children. They're looking for a nurturing environment. As leadership, we strive for excellence in all we do. We have excellent academic, athletic, and arts programs. And some of our traditions include Grandparents Day, Apple Pie fundraisers, annual auctions, uh, this first picture here is of making apple pies. We make over 6,000 pies and sell them to the community. This is one of our state championship basketball teams. The families, again, are faith-based, so uh, those things shape all of our decisions. We're a private school, so we regulate who we hire and the potential students and families. Families can afford to send their children to Whitensville Christian, um, so we don't have the socioeconomic uh, issues that are found in other public schools. Sometimes this can create a consumer mentality, but for the most part, families have a genuine desire for a Christian, quality Christian education. Our international population takes up about 3%. Most of our families are Caucasian, um, coming from a whole variety of, of ethnic backgrounds, some Hispanic and African American, and most Protestant denominations are represented. Because of our faith um, base, our policies are set by committees of teachers, parents, alumni, administration, and former parents. Our curriculum is guided by the curriculum coordinator, content groups, and administration. We are accredited by the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, and we're members of Christian Schools International. When we face change, we have a strategic planning committee that um, prepares for large changes. They have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan. They handle capital campaigns and the building of new buildings. For smaller in-house changes, we have a process of uh, proposal writing. So people will write a proposal that includes a background, the actual proposal, and the rationale. Our education level, um, most of our families come from parents who have, who hold degrees themselves. Our faculty uh, all have bachelor's degrees and many of them have higher degrees. And our graduates go on to college. Um, and if any of our students are not going directly into college, they will be generally going into the military for a year and then on to college. We are founded in 1928 and um, Again, our parents come from working families, and a lot of families, both parents work. They're middle class to upper middle class families. Again, we have a variety of ethnicity um, in our, in our uh, population, in our international population. Students are coming from Chinese, 
uh, China, Korea, Chile, and Brazil. Um, that we don't have diversity issues really. Our location doesn't provide for a lot of problems. We're right in a little New England town, and it's um, helps. Um, the international pop population is an intentional thing so that we do uh, develop more diversity. Um, our website is whiteandfieldchristian.org. We use social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, we have limited radio ads on some of the local Christian stations. Um, as far as community um, coverage, our local televisions, newspapers, etc., will cover our school the same way they cover any of the public schools. We're in the same uh, league with public schools, so we're constantly playing them. We share facilities every now and then. Um, so we get the same kind of coverage from our town um, TV stations and um, newspapers. We don't really have a problem with any foreign language impact. Our international students are expected to speak English. That's why they're coming to the United States, is to learn English. So they speak it. Um, again, to, to highlight ourselves in the community, we use social media and our website. Uh, we are not pressured by any kind of community group because um, we're a private school. However, within our school, we have a lot of different volunteer groups. Uh, our hot lunch program is run by volunteers as well as our fundraisers, homecoming, room parents, etc. Leadership, we have different levels. So we have a board, we have a society, we have committees, and we have an administrative team. Our community leader characteristics, our headmaster has been at our school for 30 years um, and our principal for, high school principal for 20 years. This combined experience leads to a, just a wealth of wisdom. There's a team approach with our principals and our headmaster, the board's involved when needed. Um, all of our leadership team are widely known and accessible. They're also known in the broader community. Our high school principal is um, a part of our Dual Valley League principal group, so he meets with the other high school principals in the area. All of our leaders are consistent, confidential, and influential in line with standard three. Economically, um, again, because we're a private school, our um, funding comes through the parents, and um, as such, we have a business office in the school building. We give our yearly reports to our society. Our society, um, society our votes on our budget each year. So our board um, has monthly reports. The education committee has monthly reports. Um, we have a very stable school. We're driven by enrollment. Um, every now and then, if, if it does get a little shaky, we, we have seen wage freezes, but um, we're out of that. We're in a very healthy state. We've just been given 30 acres of land and are um, planning some new building projects. Currently, our op we operate separately from state and federal funding. Um, due to the new Supreme Court decision, we are keeping an eye on whether or not um, the government will change any of the nonprofit status um, regulations. Um, we are nonprofit, and so along with other churches and nonprofit institutions, we're just wondering what the recent Supreme Court decision. Um, what effect that will have in upcoming years on nonprofit institutions. We don't really have any social tensions. We don't have gangs. Um, even, even cliques. Our school is small enough that kids are involved in lots of different things, so they get to know each other on all kinds of different levels. We're working to become more inclusive for students with special needs. We're not equipped for students who have emotional or psychological issues. We have a bullying policy. We teach an open circle curriculum to the elementary school. And we also have weekly chapels and yearly themes focusing on Christ and his desire for our lives and the lives of our students. We keep our school records um, for students for whatever the minimum number of years is. We use questionnaires. We have a school directory. 
Um, we use RenWeb for data collection and um, resources. We're part of the Blackstone Valley Chamber of Commerce. Our school board minutes are accessible if anyone wants to see them. They're shared with the society, um, the education committee, the admin team reports to the ed committee, who reports to the board, who reports to the society. The daily running of the school is done by the administrators. So we have a, a principal for each of the three schools. Um, and all the schools are housed in one building, and we all report to the headmaster, um, but we make up the administrative team. The education, the administrative team reports to the education committee, who reports to the school board. They are the final decision makers, and then the board reports to the society for general information, and the society votes on the yearly budget. Um, multicultural issues aren't a problem, like I said. Um, the international population brings more diversity and uh, we try to really highlight the different cultures that are in our school um, using languages, traditions, uh, during assemblies, chapels, and performances. It just adds a whole richness, richness to our student body when students share their traditions. Uh, we're not aligned with any political party, so the power structure is um, really decisions are based on a biblical understanding and set policies that um, have been uh, in line with how our school was founded. Um, our institution strives to honor God in all that we do, and the decision-making boards have rotating memberships, so we always have fresh ideas as well as experienced members. So the board consists of three-year terms. There's 12 members, and it's on a rotating cycle. And again, we're um, a Christian school, and, and that's what guides all of our practices. Um, and that aligns with standard number five. We do use public opinion surveys. Um, our surveys are online. We also hold personal interviews for incoming families and families who are choosing to leave. And we're using more and more social media for marketing and increasing public awareness as well as public opinion. Survey results are put into chart and charts and shared with the education committee. It shows the extremes and the norms and it helps shape our long range and strategic planning. And this is a picture of the back of our school. And I hope you enjoyed learning about White and Soil Christian School. Thank you.